There, Herbert, my boy. That should show you there. <laughs> oh, you're a deep one, Daddy, aren't you? <laughs> mean to say he's beat you at last? Heck no. Why, he's overloaded. Oh, 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 I see it. Let me take that uh, back. Uh, Dad, rules of the game. I don't hold by them scientific rules. You turn what ought to be an innocent pastime into something. Father, you talk too much. You'll put him off. Not him. Oh, do you hear that wind blowing? Oh, OK. I'm, I'm listening. Check. I don't suppose uh, Sergeant Morris will come today. Mate. <laughs> uh, that's the worst part of living out so far. Your friends can't come for a quiet chat and, 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 and just scramble your brains over, over confounded. Uh. Now, Dad, Morris will turn up all right. Lovers Lane, uh, uh, all, the, all the nasty, sloppy places to live in. The, the, the road's a torrent. and. The pathway is a swamp. What's the county board thinking of? That's what I want to know. Just because it's the only house on the road, it doesn't matter if nobody can get near it. Never mind, dear. Maybe you'll win tomorrow. N never mind. I, I, maybe I'll. Uh, uh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you always know what's motivating me, don't you, Mother? Ought to. After 30 years, John. <laughs> and it's not such a bad place after all, Dad. <laughs> It's actually one of the few old-fashioned houses left in this town. Home-like, I call it. And so do you. Yeah. Or you wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> Fine job I did on that, too. With a thousand dollars still owing on it. Now, Dad, I'll work that off in no time. Matter of three years with a raise promised to me. Ha! Huh. Yeah, if you don't get married. Not me. I'm not that type. Oh, I wish you were, Herbert. A nice, steady son with a family. There's plenty of time for that, Mama. I'm sufficient for the day, as the saying goes. <laughs> Nowadays, my dynamos don't allow me any time for lovemaking. <laughs> They're jealous, I tell you. <laughs> I often lie awake at night thinking, if Herbert should take a nap, and, and, and uh, his, his uh, what do you call them, his uh, dynamos go bad, the whole town would be in darkness. <laughs> what, a, what a joke. <laughs> joke? I'd get fired. Some idea of a joke he's got. I don't think so. What's that? Uh, it's him. Uh, that's the sergeant. I wonder what yarn he's got for us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> don't slam the door, John. Flipping quick. It's all I can do to hold it against the wind. Uh, awful, awful. A mile up the road by the cemetery. It's even worse. Enough to blow the hair off your head. Uh, give me a stick. Uh, if I didn't know what kind of welcome I'd get. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious, you must be freezing. Come, sit by the fire. Uh, how are you, ma'am? Oh, good. Ah, how's yourself, son? Not on duty yet, eh? Day shift, huh? Uh, no, sir, <sighs> night shift. But there's uh, half an hour yet. Ah. Uh, oh. oh, the hat, Father. Ah, oh, thank you kindly, ma'am. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, that's good. That's a sight better than the trenches in France. <laughs> that's a sight better than sitting in a puddle with the rain pouring down in buckets and the Huns taking pot shots at you. Didn't you have no umbrellas? <laughs> umbrellas? <laughs> oh, that's good. Hey, White, that's good. Did you hear what she said? Umbrellas. And galoshes and hot water bottles. No offense, ma'am, but it's easy to see you was never a soldier. Uh, my mother spoke out of kindness, sir. Oh, and don't I know it? And no offense intended. Uh, no, ma'am. Hardship. Hardship, that's a soldier's lot. Starvation, fever, getting yourself shot. That's a bit of my life. Mm. Well, it don't look like you took too much harm, except for... Uh, and for that, I got this. No, ma'am. Tough. Thomas Morris is tough and sober. What's this now? Uh, put your nose in it, you'll see. Mm. Whiskey and hot and sugar and a slice of lemon. <laughs> and no, I said I'd never, uh, but see in the sort of night, well, here's another thousand a year. The same to you and many of them. <laughs> what, not you? Not even a drop. 
I'm not trying to be unsociable, but my work don't go with it. I have to keep a cool head, a steady eye, and a still hand. The flywheel might gobble me up. Oh, don't, Herbert. No fear, Mama. Ah, electricians, sort of magicians, you are. Light, you say. Light it is. <laughs> Power, you say, and the trains go whizzing. Knowledge, you say, and, and the words go humming to the end of the, end of the world. <laughs> Fair beats me. <laughs> and I've seen a lot in my time, too. Your Indian magic? All a fake, sir. The fakir's fake. Fake, you call it? Well, I've seen it, I tell you. Oh, come on. Such as what? Come on. I've seen a man with no more clothes on him than a baby, if you know what I mean. Take an empty basket. Empty, mind you. As empty as this here glass. <laughs> Give it here, Mars. Uh, which was not my intention, but used as illustration. Oh, I've seen the basket trick, and I've read how it was done. I could do it myself with a bit of practice, ladle out something stronger. Stronger? What do you say to an old fakir chucking a rope up in the air? Up in the air, mind you, and then swarming up it as if it was hooked on and vanishing, clean out of sight. <laughs> I've seen that. Cake? What for? That yarn takes the cake. <laughs> <laughs> you mean to say you doubt my word? Oh, no, no. He was just joking. Herbert, you shouldn't. Herbert always was one for a bit of fun. Well, it's true. Why, if I chose, I could tell you things. But there, you're not getting any more yarns out of me. <laughs> Nonsense, old friend. You're not going to get uppity about a little bit of fun. Now, uh, what was that you was, uh, you was telling me the other day about uh, a monkey's paw or something? Uh, nothing. At least nothing worth hearing. Huh. A monkey's paw? Yeah, you were telling me... Uh, uh, nothing. Don't go on about it. What? Empty again. There. Thinking about the monkey's paw makes me that absent-minded. Yeah, I, I think you said uh, you always carried it on you? So I do, for fear of what might happen. Yes. What's yes. it for? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I will. Every word. Magic, then. And don't you laugh. I'm not. <laughs> Got it on you now? Of course. Let's see it. It's nothing much to look at. Just an ordinary little paw dried to a mummy. Here. Oh! Let's take a look. Why, it's all dried up. I said so. Oh, listen to that wind. What's so special about it? That their paw has had a spell put upon it. No, no. By an old fakir, very holy man. He'd sat all doubled up in one spot, going on 15 years, just thinking of things. And he wanted to show that fate ruled people, that everything was cut and dried from the beginning, if you know what I mean, and that if you try to change it, you caught it hot. So he put a spell on this paw. Could have been anything. You just took the first thing handy. Put a spell on this paw and made it so that three people could each have three wishes. <laughs> oh, but, shh, shh. Hush, don't but listen up. Though the wishes were granted, those three people would have cause to wish they hadn't been. How could the wishes be granted? He didn't say. It would all seem so natural. You might think it a coincidence, if so disposed. Why haven't you tried it, sir? I have. You've had your three wishes? Yes. Were they granted? They were. Has anybody else wished? Yes, the first owner had his three wishes 
Oh, yes, he had his three wishes, all right. I don't know what the first two were, but the third was for death. That's how I got the paw. Well, seems to me you've only got a wish for things that can't have any bad luck about them. <laughs> Morris, if you had your three wishes, uh, it's no good to you now. What do you keep it for? Fancy, I suppose. I, I did have some idea of selling it, but uh, I don't think I will. Uh -oh. It's done enough damage already. Hmm. Besides, people won't buy it. Some think it's a fairy tale, and others want to try it first and buy after. If you could have another three wishes, would you? I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm damned if I would. What are you doing? Let it burn. Let the uh, infernal thing burn. Let it burn, Father. No, no. If, if you don't want it, uh, let me have it. I won't. I won't. I, my hands are clear of it. I threw it in the fire. If you keep it, don't blame me. Whatever happens. Here, pitch it back again. No, I'm going to keep it. Uh, what do you say, Herbert? I say keep it if you want to. It's all a bunch of nonsense anyhow. Nonsense? Uh, I, I wonder. I wish I knew. Stop it. it. Mind what you're doing, that's not the way. What is the way? Uh, don't have anything to do with it, Father. That's what I say, ma'am. But if I didn't tell him, he might wish for something he didn't mean to. You hold it in your right hand and make the wish aloud. But I warn you, I warn you. Sounds like the Arabian Nights. <laughs> Father, you might want to wish me four pairs of hands. Oh, right you are, Mother. I wish Stop it! <laughs> If you must wish, wish for something sensible. Uh, here, I, I can't stand this. It gets on my nerves. Where's my coat? I'm coming your way to the works in a minute. Won't you wait? No, I, I'm all shook up. I want some fresh air. I don't want to be here when you wish. And wish you will as soon as my back's turned. I know, I, I know. But remember, I warned you. Uh, that's all right, Mars. Don't you fret about us. <laughs> ah, here. Uh, no, I won't. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Put it in the fire. Ooh. Uh, uh, there. If there's no more in this than there is in his other stories, we shouldn't make much out of it. Did you give him something for that, Father? Oh, a, a trifle. He didn't want it, but I made him take it. Oh, there now, you shouldn't. Throwing away your money. Ah, uh, I wonder. What? I wonder if we hadn't better chuck it on the fire. Likely. Why, we're all going to be rich and famous and happy. Throw it on the fire, indeed. You, you just spent money on it. Oh, it's so like you, Father. Ooh, wish to be an emperor, Father. Then you can't be handpacked. Oh, you young <laughs> whippersnapper. Easy with that oh, dishcloth. Be quiet there. <laughs> I wonder. I don't know what to wish for, and that's a fact. I seem to have all I want. Oh, Dad. If you'd only paid the debt on the house, you'd be quite happy, wouldn't you? Well, go ahead. Wish for the $1,000. Shall I? Go ahead. Don't have anything to do with it, Father. Now, Dad. I wish for $1,000. Oh. oh, what's the matter? matter? It's moved. Oh. As I wished it, it, it twisted in my hand uh, like a snake. Nonsense, Dad. It must have been your imagination, John. Why, well, it's as stiff as a bone. Well, I don't see the money, and I don't think I ever will. <laughs> Thank God there's no harm done, but it gave me a shock. I know. Half past 11. I must get along. I'm on at midnight. We've had quite the merry evening. I'm going off to bed. Don't be late for breakfast, Herbert. I'll walk home as usual. Does me good. I'll be home about nine. Don't wait, though. 
You know your father never waits. Good night, Mother. Good night, Dad. Oh, you'll find the cash tied up in the middle of the bed. <laughs> it moved, Herbert. Oh, and a monkey hanging by its tail from the bedpost watching you count the golden sovereigns. <laughs> I wouldn't, wish you wouldn't joke, my boy. All right. Lord, what weather. Oh. Night, Dad. <laughs> All this stiff again. Now I'll have to have Herbert look at it in the morning. Mother, mother, what's the matter? Uh, uh, not nothing. Uh, uh, I saw faces in the fire. Come to bed. Oh, what a morning Herbert's got for walking home. What time is it? Oh, I declare it's quarter to nine. Yeah. And he's off at eight. Now, it takes him a half hour to uh, change and wash up. Uh, he's uh, probably by the cemetery now. Oh, he'll be home in 10 minutes. Uh, well, uh, what's for breakfast? Oh, eggs and sausage. Oh. Filthy paw, oh. the silly thing. The idea that we listen to such nonsense. Oh, the sergeant and his yarns. But I suppose all old soldiers are alike. <sighs> How can wishes be granted nowadays? Oh, been thinking about it all night, have you? Well, you kept me awake with all your tossing and turning. Oh, I had a bad night. Well, must I expect it was the storm. How that wind blew. I didn't hear it. I was asleep and not asleep, if you know what I mean. And all that rubbish about you're supposed to be unhappy if your wish is granted. <laughs> you know, a thousand dollars, I don't know how a thousand dollars could hurt us. Well, it might drop on my head wrapped around a brick. <laughs> well, mind you, uh, Morris said that it would, uh, well, it would happen so naturally that you would take it for a coincidence if you were so inclined. Well, it hasn't happened, as far as I know, and it's not going to happen. And how you can sit there and talk about it. What's that? Postman, of course. Oh, it's a letter, John. Well, what'd you expect him to bring, a ton of coal? John, do you suppose? Suppose what? Do you suppose it's the $1,000? Oh, here now, don't, don't, don't talk nonsense. But why don't you fetch it? Uh. Oh, it's thick, John. And there's something crisp inside well, of it. Well, who's it for? Oh, you. Well, I'll give it here then. Uh, oh. Uh. What a superstitious old woman you are. Uh, uh, where's my specs? Oh, let me open it. Uh, don't you touch it. Where are my specs? Well, don't let sudden wealth sour your temper, John. Will you find my specs? They are right on the top of your head. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh. Now, be careful. Don't tear it. Tear what? Uh, if it's money. Oh. Uh, don't. I'm a dotty old woman, making me nervous. Uh, sir, enclosed, please find a receipt for interest on your mortgage of $1,000 on your home, duly received. Uh, That's what comes from listening to tipsy old soldiers. 
You thought it was money. I didn't. I, I said all along that... Herbert is going to laugh when I tell him. <laughs> but you're not going to tell him. You're going to keep your mouth shut. That's what you're going to do. Well, I'd never hear the end of it. Serves you right. I will tell him. Oh, you know how you like his fun. The way he was joking with you last night after you told him the paw moved. Well, so it did. It, it did move. I'll swear to it. You thought it did. I say it did. There's no thinking about it. You saw how it upset me, didn't you? Well, well didn't you? Why, why don't you listen? Well, what is it? Nothing. Oh, uh, well, do you see Herbert coming? No. Uh, he's about due. Uh, what is it? Nothing. There's some woman out there. Looks like she's carrying a briefcase. Well, what about her? She's standing at the garden gate. It looks like she's wants to come in, but can't make up her mind. Well, go on. You're full of fancies. Oh, she's gone away. Uh, no, she's coming back. Don't let her see you peeping. Oh, well, she's looking at the house. She's got her hand on the latch. Oh, no, she's going away again. She looks like some kind of an official, John. What of it? John, oh, you'll just laugh at me again, but maybe she's coming about the $1,000. Oh, you're just a foolish old woman. Uh, 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 don't, don't talk nonsense. Uh, uh, come and eat your breakfast. Oh. Where is she now? Oh, she's going down the road. Oh, no, she's turning around. I, I think she's making up her mind. Well, oh, here she comes. Oh, John, look at the way we look. Oh, the, the place is a mess. Oh, what what oh, does dear. it matter? She, oh. She's come to the wrong place, the wrong house. Oh, uh, she's lost or something. <sighs> is this the home of Mr. White? Please come in, ma'am. Please overlook uh, our untidiness and, and then the place is a mess. <laughs> Morning. My name is Miss Sampson. Uh, oh, would you like to sit down? Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, no, 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 I, I think not. I think not. Fine weather for the time of year. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> My name is Miss Sampson. I've I'll come. Bet you came here to see Herbert. He'll be back no. in just a few minutes. That's his breakfast waiting there. <laughs> no, I've come from the electrical works. Oh, why you might have come with him? No, no, I've, I've come alone. Is there anything the matter? I was asked to call. Herbert, has something happened? Is, is he hurt? Is he hurt? There, 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 there. Don't, don't you jump to conclusions. Uh, let the lady speak. You've not brought bad news, I'm sure, ma'am. I'm sorry. Is he hurt? Badly. Very badly. Oh, John. Oh, oh John. Is he in pain? He is not in pain. Oh, thank God for that. Thank God. Thank God. You mean... Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Go on, ma'am. Oh, oh. He was telling his work buddies a story, something that happened here last night. He was laughing and he wasn't noticing and and the machinery caught him the machinery caught him yes and him our only child it's hard ma'am very hard the company wishes uh, to express their sincere sympathy with you in your time of great loss our Great loss. I was to say further, I'm only the representative. I'm, I'm only obeying orders. Our great loss. 
Oh, the great loss. I was to say, the company disclaims all responsibility, but in recognition of your son's services, they wish to present you with a certain sum as compensation. Our great loss. How, how much? $1,000. <gasps> Jenny? Jenny? Yes? Where are you? At the window. Uh, what are you doing? Looking up the road. What's the use, Jenny? What's the use? That's where the cemetery is. That's where we've laid him. Uh, a week today. What time is it? I don't know. It don't take much account of time now, do we, Jenny? Why should we? He don't come home. He'll never come home again. There's nothing to think about. Or to talk about. Come away from the window, Jenny. You'll get cold. It's colder where he is. Uh, gone forever and taken all our hopes with him. And all our wishes. And all our wit. John. What, 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 Jenny, what's the matter? The paw, the monkey's paw. What, what, what about it? I what want I it. Can... You haven't done away with it. Well, I haven't seen it. Since... I want well, it. I... Find it. Uh, uh, Find it. Uh, 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 here, here it is. Why didn't I think of it? Why didn't you think of it? Think of what? The other two wishes. What? We've only had one. Uh, wasn't that enough? No. We want another one. Take it. Take it quick and wish. Uh, uh, wish what? Wish our boy alive again. Good God. Are you mad? Take it. Take it and wish, oh, my boy, my boy. Go to sleep. You don't know what you're saying. Our first wish was granted. Why not the second one? He's been dead 10 days. Jenny, Jenny, I, was, I only knew him by his clothing. If you wasn't allowed to see him then, how could you bear to see him now? I don't care. Bring him back. I, I don't dare touch wish. him. Wish, wish. Wish! Wish! I wish my son alive again. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Thank God. Thank God. All along the road, not a single living thing. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing left in our lives, John. Except each other, Jenny. And memories. We're too old, John. We were only alive in him. We can't begin again. We can't feel anything now but emptiness and darkness. It isn't for long, Jenny. There's that to look forward to. Every moment's long now. I can't stand the cold. It's dreary, so dreary. Uh, I'll light the fire. It was a match. Where are the matches? Oh. I can't, I can't sit in the cold. It's oh. not healthy. Oh. Don't take on so, oh. Mother. Oh, I'm a mother no longer. Oh, there now, there now. Did you get to bed? 
Go to bed. I, I, I'll be up there soon. Whether I'm here or in bed or wherever I am, I'm with my boy. I'm with my boy. What was that? Uh, a rat. The house has fallen. Oh. Stop. What are you going to do? It's Herbert. It's my boy. I forgot he was a mile away. For what God's are you doing? Sake. Don't go, go near the door. Let me go. I've got to open the door. Think of what you might Let see. Go. Do you think I fear the child that I bore? Let me go. No. Herbert, I'm coming. Wait. Don't do it. Don't Wait. Do it. Wait. John, top bolt is stuck. I can't move it. Uh, Good. Oh. Come help me. Wait. There's one wish left. Herbert, your mother is coming to you. Herbert. Wait. Herbert. Wait. Oh, God. I can't it? It's got to be around here somewhere. Please help uh, me. It's, it's moving. It's moving. God forbid. Wait, I... Your mother's coming to you. I wish him dead. I wish him dead and at peace. Herbert. Herbert. Oh.